Hey guys, so video today on procrastination and how to take action. You know, why do we keep procrastinating? What are we fearing? And where's this coming from? Well, you know, what I've realized now is that life is meant to be uncomfortable. You know, it's not supposed to become comfortable. Also, it's not supposed to be, um, you become uncomfortable for a little bit and then you get to a destination and it's comfortable again. You know, that is not, you know, for some people they think, oh, well, I'll get into a relationship and then it'll be comfortable. You know, life is always uncomfortable. We're supposed to be growing. So that one thing that you want to do right now, perhaps you're procrastinating on, is that it's going to take a bit of effort. You fear that, you know, it will take um, you into an uncomfortable place. But what is it getting to you so far? You know, if you can get to a point where consistently you're becoming uncomfortable and you're okay with that, then, you know, that's where the joy in life is. You know, that's where you become very passionate. You know, I've realized that after the last few years of probably not really doing too much on, perhaps even on this YouTube channel, not too many talks, um, you know, and, and for years before that, I was absolutely on top of everything. Um, so the procrastination phase for myself, for a lot of the time has actually been quite soul destroying. Um, and by doing things now, it's feeling a lot better. But I don't really see there being an end destination. I just see myself doing whatever I love to do and it gets me there. So, you know, what is the fear? You know, what is the fear? Like what is stopping you from getting what you really want? And I mean, the, these things are, are difficult to understand, particularly for some people. I mean, I can relate to everyone who has this, but you know, you just gotta do it. Um, and, and just do one little thing. So for me, you know, I've always wanted to organize a trip abroad. Still not done it. <laughs> Still not done it right now. You know, I'm gonna go to a, a coffee shop now actually, and I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna actually put it together. Um, and I've said to myself, what are my fears? Okay, my fear is that nobody will come. So, you know, what I've done is, how can I break that down? Okay, well, let's just, and then I've, I've, I've asked two people to, you know, do they want to go? And they've said yes. So my fear now is, okay, maybe too many people won't come. So you need to be able to break down, you know, what, what are the fears? And then you say, oh, I've not got enough money um, as well. And then, you know, based on organizing this trip and, uh, and I've said to the people, look, you know, it's a bit of money to do everything. They're going to help cover some of the costs. So, you know, I can afford it. So then what's the fear? So you've got to keep breaking it down and doing it one step at a time. But the important thing is that you take action. And if you're really not sure what you want to do in life, you know, I'll, I'll still be there now. I still don't really know what I'm doing. Um, you know, I feel like I'm just here to grow and to learn and to share things with other people. You know, perhaps my expertise is in breaking constantly out of that comfort zone and falling back into it coming out of it again for you know um but you know i do keep breaking out and i feel like i understand it it's for me now it's just doing it consistently and i think you know things like in your daily habits you know just improving your daily habits just getting up early you know i've done this so many times i've just found getting up early like starting on 5 30 you know doing some exercise getting into your body um you know if you can get a cold shower you know that works well um you know like just making your bed doing you know having a to-do list organization like today i've just not organized um i didn't plan anything for today and i wish i did i was like oh shit, i didn't actually plan anything for for saturday um so you literally got to make sure you know everything in your life is is on point and and it's all happening for a reason as well you know there's a deeper lesson that you need to learn and the big thing as well is to get rid of you know this is my shadow side you could say my dark side i've obviously done some shamanism work um, like therapy uh, i've done ayahuasca recently um, what it's told me is that you know my shadow my dark side is blame you know it's, it's blaming other people is blaming the world is blaming so many things for that i can't have what i want and that is you know not to be harsh on myself but it is a very cowardly way um of living because you're you're not taking responsibility for yourself you know there is that next level you know the people i've met now 
people who created great companies, they just, anything's thrown at them and they handle it and they accept it. So it's opening your eyes, accepting the situation you're in. Look, you might have this great dream, you might really want to take action, but if you really do feel stuck, then you've got to be able to, to break out of that. Um, and it will make you grow and make you stronger. And you have to lead, you know. For me right now, I look around maybe in different areas of my life and I've got people around me. And in a way, they need people to lead, you know. They need to be shown as well. Um, you just, you've always wanted to be leading by example. And then you meet other people who are the same. So this thing of, oh, the five people you hang around with, you know, they don't, and in my life, um, that's obviously improved massively. But I've always found that you have to lead by example. You have to break out of that comfort zone. Um, and understand that it's uncomfortable. Like I said, with the getting up early, the cold shower, the, the going to the gym, it creates momentum. You know, it's just gradual um, to the point where you're like, all right, I will just go for my dream or go for my goal. Because, you know, if you keep procrastinating, your, your life is gonna, is gonna end, you know, and you're gonna wish that you did so much more. Hey guys, so I've just organized a trip uh, to Budapest from the 21st of November. So I've got some people already interested um, coming along. And if, yeah, if anyone's interested as well, um, I'll put a link below. So four days, just have an awesome time, put loads of fun events on. I've got everything planned. Um, you know, it'll be close to Christmas, so the Christmas markets, you could do like ice skating. Um, all these fun, you can do like spas there. It was a really amazing experience when I went and I can't wait to do it with a group of people. So again, that's, that's taking action on something that um, I was procrastinating on and I've just done it. And I just feel right now that I just feel so much better. <laughs> it's like that was the one thing that had to be done. You do all these little mini tasks and then all of a sudden you do the big task and that's where it makes a difference. And as I mentioned before, I said, you know, we live in once, um, you've got to make the most of it. You know, not too long ago, I did ayahuasca for the first time, which I'll probably do another video on at some point. And it was, it was such an amazing experience for me. Um, one of the main things that it did just teach me was, look, you know, you are you and, you know, you've got to be, you know, you're confident, like, true self to, to make your mark on the world, to, to best um, use your talents. Um, there's no point just wasting it. There's no point just hiding in a comfort zone. You know, people want to see the real you and they want to see what you were born to do. Um, you know, you stay in a comfort zone and you, you know, you die with your music inside you. That's just not a great way to live. And, um, and you just need to, to be able to, every moment, feel what's that one thing that you would love to do. Do it, take action, see where it goes. And, and don't worry about all the little things. Everything's gonna improve on this journey. You know, I would say even with these videos, you know, I'd probably even apologize and say, look, you know, one minute it's a DSLR camera, microphones, next it's on my phone, handy cam. You know, it, at the moment, it's not really about getting everything perfect. Like for me, I just wanna put the content out and I'm sure and I hope you find it very valuable because that was kind of, I'm like, well, I've not got the proper camera and I've not got this and that, but at the end of the day, I'm just sharing what I want to, yeah, all the best stuff I've got. You know, I feel like I am in a good place. And, um, and yeah, guys, I mean, just take action is, uh, is the main thing. You know, I was just speaking to a friend then, and he's just changed, you know, for a while, he just wasn't taking any action. All of a sudden, he's like, bam, you know, I want to do this, I want to do that. And it just looks like a completely different person. Um, and people love that. When you're someone who's always taken action and you're not procrastinating, you become such an inspiration to other people. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, on procrastination. And keep taking action and let me know, especially in the comments below as well, if there's anything you want to um, share, what you're procrastinating on, and I'll see if I can answer it. Okay, see you soon. Bye.